Hi, I'm Cookie, and today I'm going to be your mind body coach. And what we're going to work on today is down dog. I get asked a lot of questions about da down dog and, and some things that you can do, tips that you can use to practice good alignment in down dog. One of the big issues when people are in down dog um, is that they're feeling a lot of pressure on their wrists. And the key in that is really when you're pr pressing into the ground with your hand, specifically your thumb and index finger, pressing back is that you're opening this angle from like a 90 degrees and you're trying to really open that angle of the wrist. And to do that, what you're trying to do is move your center of gravity, your body weight back into your legs more. So we're gonna kind of figure out some techniques that you can use to help you do that. I want to give a shout out to Scottsdale Community College. That is where I uh, received my training. It's all Iyengar based. Uh, amazing a woman who runs the program is Carlin Sykes. Um, it's a great, for those of you that are thinking about getting certified in yoga, it's a wonderful place to go. Um, very alignment based, anatomy and physiology based, which is with my background. So that's why I think it really works so well for me. So a lot of what we're doing today is based on Iyengar training that I received when I was in yoga teacher training. And um, I came from a gymnastics background, which uses the body in a very different way than yoga does. And I wish as a gymnast, I would have had more yoga training because I would have been a much stronger, more resilient gymnast and probably not sustained many of the injuries that I did. So. Having said all that, we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to warm up a couple sun salutations, and then we'll come down and kind of get into the nitty gritty of getting set up for down dog. And um, hopefully, this will help you with your down dog. We're going to finish at the end with some sun salutations again. And what I want you to be able to see is from when you started the first sun salutations you did when you're in down dog versus what happens at the end. And hopefully, it'll feel You'll feel stronger, you'll feel more connected with the pose, um, and then we'll come down and we'll finish up with a nice little legs up the wall just to kind of relax and bring ourselves back down. So hopefully this will all work out and let's get started. So I'm going to come up onto my mat, front edge of my mat. My feet are about hip width apart, and I'm going to physically move the thighs back, draw back from this abdominal as I lift up from the heart, relax the shoulders down. Relax your head and neck, just close your eyes, give me a couple of breaths here. Allow your body to kind of just find this nice neutral position. Focus on your breath. And then when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. You're going to inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Even just a little bit of a back bend, look up. On your exhale, you're going to swan dive all the way down. Now remember, we've talked in past videos. You want to be weighted slightly more forward in the ball of your foot so that your ankle, your knee, and your hip are in one line. Your fingertips can, can, can be on the floor as you extend, or you can bring your hands to the front of your shin and extend from here. Big breath in. On your exhale, you're going to fold. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to step it back to push up or plank. Now, from here, remember, you can always bring the knees down, you guys. If not, I want you to lower through chaturanga. You're not going to stop. Come all the way down. Tops of the feet on the floor. Hands spread wide. Press into the knuckle of your thumb and index. Move your shoulders on the back and just lift up to a small cobra. Look forward and up with your eyes, big breath in. Exhale as you lower down. Now, you can, can from this position, tuck your toes, pull back, thighs back, and push all the way back through plank, and then back to down dog. So I'm just pressing into those hands, moving that body weight back. I'm thinking about thighs moving back, Tailbone lifts and extends, abdominal wall stays connected, and you're just breathing. We're going to do five breaths here. That's two. That's three. And four. And five. We're going to look for it. We're going to step it in. Bring the hands back to the front of your shins. Extend your spine, exhale as you fold, inhale as you rise all the way up, and bring your hands back to the heart. So let's go again. Inhale, bring the arms up, look up, exhale as you swan dive down. Inhale, hands to your shin or from the floor as you look up and out, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, bend your knees, step it back to your push-up. Lower through Chaturanga. Pull forward and upward into Cobra. Good. Keep weighted into the feet. Move the heart forward. Shoulder blades come onto the back, looking up. Exhale, tuck your toes, come up and back into Down Dog. That's one. I'm just going to kind of get my legs moving right and left. That's two. Inhaling and exhaling. Three. Lifting up on my toes, pressing the thighs back, lowering the heels. That's four. And one more breath here. And five. I'm looking forward. I'm going to step it in. And again, just observe where you feel the tension when you're in down dog all the way up. Bring your hand to the heart. Where you're feeling tight or open or just kind of observing your down dog when you're in it. One more time. Inhale, arms come up. Slight back bend. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, look up and out. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Step it back to your push-up. Lower through Chaturanga. Pull forward and upward into Cobra. Good. Tuck your toes up and back down dog. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk it out a little bit again. Setting my shoulders, pushing back. So up from that abdominal wall. That's one breath. That's two. And three, and four, and five. So I want you just to come down onto your hands and knees. So we did three uh, sun salutations. I want you to come down onto your hands and knees. And from this position, let your toes be flat. We're just going to inhale, look up. Exhale, contract and round. Inhale, lengthening, looking up, and contract around. Little cats and cows. One more time. Nice. Now we're going to do a kind of a warm up called thread the needle, and just because I want to kind of warm up your rotation a little bit, but also your shoulders. So I'm going to push into my left hand. My right arm goes out to the side. I'm going to thread my right hand through and come onto my right shoulder. My head is just resting. Now this left hand, my elbow is going to come up. And I'm going to turn my head and try to look up at the ceiling. And I notice that my left side gets very um, light. So I want to take my right foot and just hold my left foot down as I add more rotation. And I'm just feeling a nice stretch through my neck, my shoulders. I can readjust and come a little bit more forward if I want. I'm just breathing here. Good. Give me one more breath. Now you're going to power into your left hand to come up and out, and we're going to switch sides. I'm going to uncross my foot, left arm goes out, I thread this needle, my right arm opens up, I'm kind of light, so now I'm going to take my other foot, my left foot, and hold my right side down, and just feel that nice stretch, keep that breath going, nice, one more. Push into your right hand to come up. Good. And just circle your shoulders. So we're going to start. Um, for this, you could use no prop, okay? Or you could use a block. You could use a blanket, a book, uh, something that gives you a visual. Um, I'm just going to use the block so you can you see what I'm doing. But you would not have to have a block if you don't have one, okay? So I've got this block. And the first thing I want to do is kind of get the core connection with the back part of my body, the hips and the thighs. So from this position, I have my index and my thumb kind of on the floor with the block this way. Okay, so now I'm here. And I'm just going to keep my arms strong. I'm going to tuck my toes under. I'm going to find my core and I'm going to power into my hand to just lift off right here. And I want to think about keeping this the hips lifted as the arms are strong. And then I want to allow the head of the arm bones to come in the sockets. Let's do two more breaths here. 
Alright, and one more breath. Good, I'm going to lower those hips. Take the feet back, give me a big breath in. Exhale, ah, oh, let's do that again. So index finger and thumb, kind of hugging in on the block a little bit. Arms are strong to start with, set the shoulders. Tuck your toes, pull up from the core, lift off your knees. And you're just trying to maintain almost like a plank, but with your knees bent. Good, give me two more breaths. One more breath. Good, and lower down. We're gonna do that one more time, you guys. So what I want you to be aware of is there's a lot of work here, okay, in this position, especially in your lower body because you're in that bent knee position. Keep pulling up on the core. Keep the head of the arm bones connected. Keep hugging in with your index finger on your block. Okay, let's do it one more time. Big breath to set. Shut your shoulders, pull up from the core, hover. Let's do three breaths here. That's one. That's two. And three. Nice job. Okay, we're going to move on. So we've been hugging in with our index finger and our thumb. So we're isometrically hugging in. This time what I want you to do is you're going to bend your elbows. So we're going to do the same exact thing we just did, but this time the elbows are going to be bent. And what I want you to really focus on is what's going on back here. So my elbows are going to be bent. My shoulders are really going to try to come together on the back. Okay, and we're going to do those three breaths again. So index and thumb, hugging in. Elbows are bent this time. Fingers are spread wide. Toes tucked under. Pull up from your core, set your shoulders, and here we are. Elbows are bent. Inhale here, one. Inhale, two. Keep moving the shoulder blades onto the back. Nice. One more, y'all. Nice. And then come all the way down. Go up. Oh. Big breath in. Exhale. We're going to do that two more times. So on this one, what I want you to really focus on, there's a lot of work in the arms because you're holding this isometric contraction kind of in this plank position. But I want you to really focus about what's going on right between your shoulder blades. You want to really try to see if you can get the retraction of the shoulder blades onto the back, keeping those elbows bent. Okay? So here we go. Hugging in with the index and thumb. Elbows are bent. Shoulders are on my back. Head of the arm bones in the socket. Pull up from the core. Lift off. Relax your head and neck. That's one. That's two. And three. Let the knees come down. Nice job. All right. I think we have one more on that, and then we'll go from there. So let's just go ahead and get her done. Hugging in. Index finger, thumb. Isometrically contracting in with my chest. You're going to feel the chest really working here, the pectorals, as you're hugging in. Elbows are bent. Pull up from the core. Tuck the toes. Get the heavy arm bones in. And here we go. Lifting up. And big breath in. Good. That's one. That's two. I'm going to make sure those elbows are bent. And three. My arms are starting to shake. Go ahead and come on down. Good job. All right. So now what we want to do is kind of put it all together. We're going to hug in, get the elbows to bend, shoulders on the back. I'm going to lift the hips a little bit higher this time, but I'm going to keep my knees bent. And I'm going to start to try to push my body back um, into the lower body area. But I'm going to still be up in the air with the heels. So I'm not going to put the heels down yet. So hugging in, bend your elbows, set your shoulders. Pull up from the core. I'm going to lift my hips up a little higher, and I'm going to squeeze this block as I push back. So I'm in a half dog. My legs are still bent. My tailbone is turning up. My core is connected. And I want your eyes to look kind of where your thumbs are. Good. I'm keeping on hugging in with my index finger and my thumb. I'm keeping the shoulder blades on my back. Two more breaths. Good, one more breath. Inhale to come forward, exhale to lower down. Go, ah. Oh. So 
you should think that feels a little bit easier than what we were doing before, and it just has to do with the way in which gravity is working on us, plus we're able to push back with the arms. So let's do that again. Index finger and thumb are hugging in the block. I'm isometrically squeezing the block with my hands. Elbows are bent. Good, pull up from the core. I'm gonna lift off my knees and kind of push back a little bit and turn that tailbone up. Now I'm gonna hug in on the block as I extend through the arms, but the head of the arm bone has to stay in the socket, you guys. Good. And your eyes can look straight down. Keep the breath going. Keep working the shoulder blades on the back. Relax that head and neck. Good, you have one more. Nice. And with an inhale, you're gonna come forward and lower down. I wanna talk about um, elbows really quickly because it's really important, y'all. Um, if you can see right now, you can see I have a lot of hypermobility in my elbow. So we don't ever wanna go into that hypermobility state. It's not good for your joint or the joint capsule. It's really important that we're engaging in the muscle structure on either side of that joint so that there is always an action that's connecting everything together rather than just letting that um, hypermobility take over. So flexibility comes with some draws and sometimes it's that you're not strong enough uh, with the surrounding musculature to protect that joint. And that's why in this instance, when we push up and back into down dog, we wouldn't want to go into that hypermobile state. We want to stay engaged in the muscle structure safely. Okay, so be aware of that with anything, especially your um, elbows and knees. You're gonna notice that and sometimes in people, when they stand, they're very hyperextended. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Actually, I think we have two. So we're hugging in, shoulders on the back, elbows are bent. So I've got my back connected. The key is to keep the shoulder blades connected as I lift up and start to push back. How do I keep that? I have to keep bending the elbows again, lifting the tailbone, and then gradually see if I can straighten my arms, but not let anything change in my upper back. Keep pulling back from that belly. Relax your head and neck. Good. I'm on two breaths. Good, I'm gonna inhale as I come forward and lower all the way down. Nice job. Okay, guys, we're going to go all the way up and back into down dog. We're going to be morphing it, moving it, keep fluctuating it. So it's not a static pose. It keeps changing and morphing, and you keep adjusting and seeing what works and where you can get a deeper connection. So just keep it more fluid. All right, so here we go. I'm hugging in on the block, index and middle or er, thumb, elbows bent, shoulder blades connect. Pull up from the belly. I'm gonna lift off the knees and I'm gonna take the hips really high. Now I'm gonna keep working, getting those shoulder blades on the back as I extend through the arms. Now I'm gonna straighten my legs up on my tippy toes. Pull up with the quadriceps and then exhale as you lower the heels. Good, keep hugging in on the block. Relax your head and neck. I keep hugging in, trying to find the shoulders. I might need to bend my elbows again. And I straighten the arms as I push back. I keep reaching the back of my thighs towards the wall behind me. Keep engaging into the quadriceps, pulling up from the belly. With your next inhale, come forward and lower back down. Hopefully you're feeling a lot of work going on. I know I am. And we've got two more to go. All right. And then we'll go from there. So here we go again. I keep feeling like I'm sliding a little bit. My hands are sweating. Hug it in, index finger, thumb, elbows are bent. Shoulder blades come onto the back. Relax your head and neck. Okay, I'm gonna tuck my toes and find this core. Now I'm gonna lift off my knees and start to push back. Now when I do, oh, I lost my shoulders again. I have to get back to that bent elbow, get the shoulders connect as I push. I'm gonna turn the tailbone up, way up. Up on the tippy toes. Check the shoulders again, and then exhale, lower into the heel. Relax that head and neck. And just keep that breath going. Good, you guys, you have two more breaths. Mm. 
Nice. And one more breath. Beautiful. Inhale as you lean forward and come on down. Good job. We're going to do it one more time. Again, when you get up into the pose, don't be satisfied. Keep kind of trying. Okay, if I've got, can I get more shoulder connection? Can I get more tilt at the tailbone? Can I get more hamstring moving back? Our goal is really to move. There's an equal flow of energy in the front and back. I know it doesn't feel that way, but you also want to get the, the energy out of the wrist being in this 90 degree and really try to open this angle and use your arms at the same time they're pushing back. They're also connecting back into that shoulder socket. So there's that line of energy moving from the elbow out, pushing, but also, also this line of energy connecting back into the socket. Not only into the socket, you guys, but all the way into the rhomboids, the teres minor, all of the back muscles, okay, to try to connect. This is a really good strengthening uh, work for doing um, headstands because you have to have that same very strong connection in your, your back to be able to support headstands and those kinds of things. Okay, so let's do it one more time. I've got that index finger and thumb hugging in, elbows are bent, tucking the toes, pulling up, squeeze. I'm gonna lift, start to push back a little bit, reconnecting the shoulder. Push back, push back, push back. Lift the tailbone. Extend the legs. Up on the tippy toes. Big breath in. Exhale, push back. Looking forward or looking straight down. Relaxing the head and neck. So I think I've lost my shoulders again. I'm going to bend those elbows. Move the shoulder blades back onto the back. As I push back now. Good. Then I'm going to focus on the legs. I'm going to bend the knees a little bit. Turn the tailbone up. Go up on my tippy toes. Now extend those thighs back as I lower into my heels and breathe. Good. Let's do one more breath here. And big breath in. Leaning forward and coming back down. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of the block and we're going to go through three sun salutations, see how that feels. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead, walk it in. Hands either from the floor to shins, extend the spine, and fall. Inhale as you stand all the way up, and hands to the heart. So here's what I want you to do as we get into down dog in these sun salutations, really focus on everything that we were just doing, okay? From the index thumb aspect to the elbows to what's going on in your back, tilting at the tailbone, thighs moving back, all of that. So I'll give you lots of clues. Inhale, arms overhead. I want to give a slight back bend here. And exhale as you fold. Good. Inhale. Hands either from the shins or from the floor. Extend the spine. Look forward. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Bend your knees. Step it back to your push-up. Lower through Chaturanga. Pull forward and upward into Cobra. Lower down. Remember, you can go ahead and tuck your toes. Thighs move back. Push all the way up. And back into Down Dog. So, I'm in Down Dog. I'm going to think. Index thumb. Press, bend my elbows, get my shoulders on the back. Knees are bent. Start to push back with the arms. Rise up on your toes. Extend the thighs back. Pull from the core as you slowly lower your heels. Relaxing your head and neck. And that's one breath. I'm going to reestablish into my hands, get more shoulder blades onto my back. Pushing back. That's two breaths. That's three, four, I'm going to bend the knees again, tilt that tailbone, get more connection on the shoulders, extend the thighs back, and five. I'm going to look forward as I walk it in, hands either from the floor or from the shins, extend the spine, and exhale forward, inhale as you rise up, and give your hands back to the heart. Ah, oh, let's do two more. Inhale, arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and out. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees, step it back. Lower down through Chaturanga. Pull forward and upward into Cobra. Tuck your toes up and back into Down Dog. So here I go again. Index finger, thumb, press. 
isometrically hug in. Imagine your block is there. Bend those elbows. I'm going to bend the knees. Turn that tailbone up. Start to push with the hands. Start to go up on the tippy toes, straighten the legs. Keep the shoulder connection as you lower the heels. That's one breath. That's two. And then back to bending the knees, turning the tailbone. Press back with the arms, get the shoulders to connect. Up on the tippy toes. That's four. And five. I'm going to look for it, step it in. Hands either from the floor of the shins, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you rise up. And bring your hands to the heart. And let's do it one more time, you guys. Inhale, arms up and overhead, slight back bend. Exhale as you fall. Inhale, look up and out. Exhale. Bend your knees, step it back to your push-up. Lower through Chaturanga. Pull forward and upward into Cobra. Tuck your toes, thighs move back, push up, and back into Down Dog. So those are two different ways you can come up and out, you guys. Start with the thumb and index finger. Spread the rest of the hand wide. Elbows bend. Shoulder blades come together on your back. Knees are fluid, soft for a sec. Now turn your tailbone up as you start to push back. Good, go up on your toes. Move the thighs back as if somebody had a band and they were pulling you back. And then lower the heels. Then go back to the hands again. Find that thumb and index finger. Get the shoulder blades to connect on your back. Relax your head and neck. And breathe. That's three. And four. And five. You're going to inhale, look for it. Exhale, you come down. And let's just take it into a gentle cat cow. If you want to go into child's pose, Feel free to do that. Nice job. All right, y'all, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up with um, just a little restorative with legs up the wall. And then we'll be all done for today. So for legs up the wall, you can be flat on the floor or you can use a blanket under your head. You could use a blanket under your um, ribs if you want to do a back bend. I'm just going to do without anything. And the way I like to do this is I kind of get myself sideways to the wall. And I almost think of it like a cartwheel. I'm going to cartwheel. My, my glutes are going to be right on the wall and my legs go right up the wall. So from here, I'm kind of cartwheeling. I put my butt on the wall and then my heels come up. Okay, Your legs can be right together. I want you to flex your feet a little bit and let's take the arms up in your air and then I'm going to open and bend those elbows till my triceps touch and then just gently let the arms release out. So just focus on your breath. Relax your fingers. Relax your arms, your forearms. Let your shoulders be relaxed. Take your head and just rock it from side to side, relaxing your head and neck. And just observe your breath. My legs are extended, but they're not um, so extended that I can't have some relaxation. And what's going to happen, you all, if you've not done legs up the wall very much, is you're going to start to feel like tingly stuff going on because the gravity is working that blood flow down from your feet into your lower body. So just be aware of that. We won't stay here terribly long, um, but we will stay here for a little bit. I want to do some breathing with you. So again, relax everything. Notice um, if you have any tension in your jaw, let your jaw relax. Let your tongue come down from the roof of your mouth and rest in your lower palate. 
Again, re relax your fingers, your hands. Now relax your feet. Slowly, as the legs relax a little bit, allow your tailbone, your lower back to just release. Allow your part of your body that's on the floor to feel very heavy and grounded. Go to your breath. And I want you to start to observe the length of your inhale, the length of your exhale. Just observe it, which one is longer or shorter. Try not to judge it, just observe it. And then observe the quality of the air. Is it cool, is it moist? Is it dry? What do you observe? And you're going to do these observations for about three or four breaths. And now I want you to observe all the sounds that you hear so you can hear my voice. You probably can hear my little neighbor's dog out there barking. That's Stark. He gets himself uh, all stirred up when there's a delivery or anything. So learning that that's just a normal sound in your house, whatever that sound is, allows you to go back to that relaxed state. And then I want you to observe parts of your body that are moving as you are breathing. You might be able to feel the back part of your ribs moving into the floor. Those are your lower lobes. You might feel your abdominal wall expand and contract. Your upper rib cage and your chest expand and contract and rise and fall. So just observe all of that. And then we're just going to finish with some breathing. We're going to do some nose to nose, nose to mouth, and then we'll come out of this. So I want you to be inhaling through your nose for a count of three. You'll hold, and then you'll breathe out through your nose for three. We're just going to do five sets. So breathe in through your nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Breathe out through your nose for three, two, one. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Breathe out through the nose for three, two, one. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Breathe out through the nose for three, two, one. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Breathe out through the nose for three, two, one. Let's do it one more time. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Breathe out through the nose for three, two, and one. Go back to your normal breathing. and just kind of see how you feel. Try not to judge it, and if you don't feel any differently, that's okay, don't worry about it. In this next exercise, you're gonna breathe in through the nose for that count of three. We'll hold for one count, but this time I want you to open your mouth and exhale audibly through your mouth. You can go, ah, if that works for you, or just ah, breathe the air out, whatever works. So when you're ready, breathe in through your nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count, open the mouth, exhaling. Good, inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Open the mouth, exhaling for three, two, one. 
Inhale to the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Open your mouth. Exhale in three, two, one. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Open the mouth. Exhale in three, two, and one. One more time, y'all. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold for one count. Open the mouth. Exhale in three, two, and one. Go back to your normal breath. And again, assess how you feel. Hopefully a little more relaxed. Very gently when you're ready. You're just going to kind of slide your feet down the wall till the soles of the feet come together. And just kind of hang out here for a second. Allow that blood to change. And if you're a person who has uh, kind of low blood pressure or you're kind of maybe glycemic index is low, we, we want to make sure for you that we take our time coming up. Okay. So when we slide, and I'm going to be rolling to my right, um, and I'm going to just stack my legs one on top of the other, I want you to stay there for a little bit, okay? So from here, I'm just going to let my feet roll, and I'm going to take my bottom arm and just rest my head right on it. And I'm just going to take a maybe 20, 30 seconds here, just kind of regaining my um, equilibrium. If you've got allergy stuff going on, you need to kind of take a little moment because we get that fluid um, in our sinuses that can cause uh, a little bit of uh, nausea or kind of like a vertigo, but it's not true vertigo. All right, I'm gonna take my bottom hand and I'm gonna use that to help me sit up. Ooh. And I'm gonna spin around, coming into a comfortable, easy seated position. Bringing the hands in, bowing my head. I honor each and every one of you. I hope you all are doing well. And I'm hoping this was helpful for you and kind of working on down dog and working on all the parts to get into down dog. Um, it's been my pleasure to be with you all today. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you really soon. Bye.